Shalom family. It's good to see everyone here. Um, we're going to talk about Putin and what he revealed to the world. I mean, most of us already knew. I mean, if you've been in this walk for a while, you already heard about or you've even seen those Russian icon pictures. We've all seen them. Well, it's not unusual for there to be many people on this earth that never seen those pictures before. We have seen them, but many have not. So although it is not new to us, we know that this does exist. There are many people that never came into the walk and they're looking at this and they're excited. Most of the, the reaction that I'm seeing, except for white people, of course, is excitement. Now, many of them are trying to make videos to speak against this or, you know, oh, it don't matter. Well, as long as you got white Jesus around, obviously it does matter. It mattered to your people centuries ago, and it matters today because you haven't changed that image at all. You continue to use that image, although it matches nothing that's in the biblical text. So obviously it matters, or if it didn't, you would have realized and said, you know what, we shouldn't even be using this image. You have never done that. So yes, it does matter to you. That's why that image is still around and been around for a few thousand years now. It does matter. And if you deny this, then you deny who the real people are. So that's how I see their videos. You're denying who Yahweh Shai is. And if you deny him, then you're denying the real Jews that are sitting right in front of you. You're denying that too. So the bottom line is they can't do anything to change this. There is no video they're going to put out babbling on and it's going to make anyone not believe what they're seeing. And that's what they're worried about. They don't have control and they're never going to have control over the things that are being revealed to us. You know, they think they can stop it or possibly slow down everything that's happening. They can't. Okay. They can't. So this is a slideshow that I put together and you can see all of the different paintings from that time. I've even saw one video some white woman put out saying that it's not that they're black. It, it, this happened to the paint. Okay, so you were there to watch the paint change. See, this is, this is the stupidity that we have listened to all this time, all right? This is the stupidity that we have listened to. Oh, the paint, that's what they try to say with Egypt. It was like, well, what, what are all those black people up on the Egyptian wall? Oh, the paint changed. These people don't know anything like that, y'all. They don't have that information. They have nothing. Now, I did not know, ladies and gentlemen, that they stopped calling it Russian icon. They just call it icon now. They dropped the Russian back in, I believe, in 2021. They stopped saying Russian icon. Now they just call these paintings icons, which I recently found out myself. Yeah, they are beautiful. They really, truly are. You know, and I'm surprised how many of them are still intact. You know, when you think about how long ago they were painted and you see the halo 
you see the halo is supposed to go in the back of the head. These Gentiles changed the halo to go above the head, which looks stupid to me. The halo is always supposed to be in the back of the head. And that's why you see it in the paintings. You know, they changed it. It didn't need to be changed. The halo never, ever needed to be changed. You know, they have changed so many things that it wasn't necessary to change at all. Mm -hmm. there, yeah, there, there's quite a few, um, Mike, there's quite a few Black Madonnas. You know, it's not just one. And I got some of them in here. In fact, one just passed. But there are a few that they made back then. And, you know, there you can see the little differences in them. Yes. Now, Putin came out recently and everybody was excited about this vault being open. And you know what? I, I wouldn't doubt that they do have something like that, being it was so many paintings during those times that, you know, they were saying it was common for these paintings to be in the average household back then. So when they took them, I would not doubt that they had to go in a vault. You know, I bet they did. And we're still not seeing all of them. You're only seeing some of them, not all of them. Yeah, some were destroyed and some were painted over, painted from black to white. A lot of the paintings were um, painted on top of. So when you look at those uh, white Christ paintings, it, it, that is the original painting is underneath. Talking about the paint change. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Change to what? The black, the original color. <laughs> Ooh, these people are a trip. They are a trip, but you got to understand they're going to lie until the bitter end. Oh, yeah, we were everywhere. We lived all over Europe. Even Ukraine, that was black. You know, it wasn't just Russia. It was all of Europe. Oh, it was black. This was a black planet at one point in time. And they know it. They know it was, too. They're not going to tell you that, but they know it was. And it's going to, everything is going to go right back to the way it was supposed to be. Everything is going back. These temporary changes that occurred when the Gentiles were ruling, all of that's going to disappear. And by the way, these Russian icon pictures are always up for sale. If you go on Etsy, or eBay, they, I have seen them out on eBay for years. You know, of course, they want thousands of dollars for a lot of these paintings. But if you go out there, they always got some up for sale. Yeah, so, you know, let the Gentiles be butt sore. We don't care. We, we don't care about their reaction because, you know, it's not about them. They had their time. This is our time. So their anger or disappointment or this, oh, I don't know. What was Putin thinking? Well, he was thinking about telling the truth. That's what he was thinking. And y'all making the most stupid ass videos. You're trying to keep the lie going. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, wait until they realize they've been giving all kinds of money and everything to the wrong people. <laughs> now that's going to be priceless. Uh, Magic City Enterprises 305, thank you for the super chat. They covered the faces of the judges thereof. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going. Um, 
they covered the faces of the judges thereof. Uh, Job 9, 24. Yep. Yep, that is the truth. You know, when I was um, over in Germany, the Moorish figurines were still on a lot of the castles. They tried to get rid of as much as they could, but it was just so much art. It was impossible for them to get rid of it. So you can still see like little figurines and coats of armor of the original families that lived in those castles. And it's still everywhere. It's still the Moorish art and everything is still all over Europe to this very day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have, um, you know, in that Orthodox Jewish church they have over there in Russia, they got a bunch of these uh, pieces of art in there. And it's the the Black Yahawashai and it's the Black Saints. They have that. That girl, Shine, thank you for the super chat. Just think of what's hidden beneath the Vatican. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. You know, we are a great people and they don't want that out. They don't want they don't want anybody to know what how rich and great our history is. But they they can't control what's going on. They can't. And you saw what happened with Kyrie when them folks realized everybody was looking at the documentary. What did they do? Contact Amazon to try to have it taken down. It didn't work. They kept it up and it's still up over there. If you want that documentary, it's still there. Wow. There's, there's some beautiful images. Mm -hmm. No, no, the truth is here, you know, and Putin, you know, tells you he prays to uh, Black Jesus and he's trying to urge his country to do the same. We know the Pope does. He prays to the Black Madonna and baby Jesus, we see those images of virtually every Pope. Wow. These are incredible. We haven't seen them all because I'm sure Russia has plenty of these that never been shown to the public, you know, or even published in a book. You can only put so much in a book anyway, you know, there would have to be more that we haven't seen. Mm-mm-mm. Well, it's not about trusting Putin. It's it's about our information. Keep your focus on that. You know, we know we know what Gentiles are and we know we can't fully trust them, but just know sometimes the truth is going to come from a Gentile. So, we got to use enough discernment not to reject that truth because you don't like the vessel that it's coming from. 
you definitely want to avoid doing that. No, it's absolutely not about trusting Putin. It's about what's genuinely is ours or something that is telling our story, which we already know exists. You know, these folks stole our history and then turned around and tell us that we don't have a history. We were nothing but slaves. And actually we are the greatest people that ever work, uh, walked this earth. That's what we really are. And they know it too. That's why they keep trying to bury who and what you are. We are the greatest to ever walk this earth. And we still are, even in our lowest state, we're still the greatest to walk this earth. We still are. We can't pay attention to no insults from these Gentiles. They don't have a leg to stand on. Look at their whole existence on the planet. Nothing but murder, killing, stealing. That's their whole existence. Even when you go back thousands of years, that is their entire existence. There's no greatness in that. Wow. Now, I do have an article that says, actually, this art is all over the world. You know, most of it, of course, is in Russia because that's where it originated. But many other countries, including this one, this country has this art as well. So Russia didn't just keep it to themselves. They have been giving these um, pieces of art out worldwide. But of course, you know, America's not going to tell you that. But America has some of this art too. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we that's what we have to understand. It's going to come from people sometimes you never heard of. That truth is going to come from them. And it look, I don't have no objection. If he wants to use a world leader and a well-known leader on this earth to talk about us, talk about who Yahweh Shai is, our Heavenly Father, have at it. Have at it. I'm, I don't have no objections to it. Mm hmm. So let me get to this. Now, they have a museum over there of these icons. OK, they have a museum over there. And apparently many of the Russians, they are fully aware of this and have seen it for a long time. Let me change this. Okay, let me put this other picture up. Okay, hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, okay.
All right, now I'm ready. Okay, so I mean, the Russians have known about this forever. This is um, a snapshot of the icons in their museum over there. They have a bunch of this that we probably never even seen before in their museums. So, <clears throat> now it's Clinton's Museum of Russian Icons and they drop the Russian part of it. And now it's called the Icon Museum and Study Center to reflect a broader mission and emphasize the museum's role in scholarship. So if you are interested in researching and learning more about this museum, that's what you should put in online, the Icon Museum and Study Center. That's where a lot of these collections are now. So the Institute aims to place its core collection of icons into the world context to explore other regions of Eastern Christian culture. Uh, all right, so they're saying that these are the countries that actually have this artwork, okay? It says it's Bulgaria, Ethiopia, Georgia, when I'm, and I think they mean Georgia over there in Russia, Greece, Crete, Ukraine, Venice, and other places also have this art. So they said even parts of Western culture have this art. So trust me, many parts of the earth have it. Now here's some museums here in the U.S. that got these icons. The museums, uh, Wilcox Design of Cambridge, they said, here are the high profile museums with this art. Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the Smithsonian National Museum of African Art in Washington, DC, and the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem. They all got these portraits. They all got them. So in addition, the main gallery, and this is over in Russia, will be renamed to um, the Gordon B. Langton Gallery after the museum's founder who died in 2021 at the age of 89. And they said that museum was founded in 2006. So other places know fully well about this art because it has been shared with the world. So they know, you know, the bottom line is some of these people are desperate to stay at the top. So they got to always try to work against anything that's shown. And it's up to us to decide what we believe or not. Don't let the Gentiles try to influence you on what you should believe or what you shouldn't believe. You know, don't rest that in their hands. If they choose not to believe this black art, then that's on them. That's on them. And some of them are just so racist, they can't worship Yahweh Shai. They can't. They're so deeply ingrained in their racism and they don't want to believe, you know, anything that don't look like their white Jesus. No. That white Jesus is the one thing they should be doubting, but they don't. So it's really interesting. And I'm just looking at the timing of when this came out. Look, it's the lunar eclipse, and we got the upcoming, the great American eclipse. And look at the timing. And I really believe that's why Putin put this out now. Even he's looking at the time and he's looking at a lot of things and he figured this is the best time to do it. April's jewels, 
uh, thank you for the super chat. You would think they would have learned by now. No matter what they do, we still rise. Absolutely. They need to pay attention and repent now. Thank you, Sister Lisa. We are great. All praises to the Most High. Amen. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, look, I'm sure a lot of these world leaders know things that we don't. And yeah, they, they know the timing of everything, you know, because they stole everything. So yeah, they would know what the timing is. So I look at it like that. He knows, he knew when to put this out or when to speak on it and go public with it. But, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of enjoy that the vast majority of people that see this were excited about it. That was really good and refreshing to see. But the ones that are not excited, those are the usual ones <laughs> that you would expect that reaction from. So I, I just disregard that. It's, their reaction is not important to me. Mm hmm. My son saw them and he was like, well, why are their hair straight? I said, because, you know, back in those times, many of the people, they didn't see people like us. So they drew things according to what they thought it would look like. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you'll get a kick out of the reaction videos. If you get a chance, watch some of those. Just watch some of them. I think um, some of the things that are said. And I think the reason why the Gentiles are going to have a hard time with people listening to them because they don't say anything that we haven't heard before. It's always their reaction when something is proved to be us or one of our people did something or it's us that did something in history. It's the same reaction. And I was like, you know what? You're not going to get anywhere with that reaction. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, there is a picture of Putin at their Orthodox church over there in Russia. And you can see all the portraits on the wall. You see a lot of the, the saints and even Yahawashai is black and they're right there in that church. And there are some photographs of Putin in the church and you can see the portraits on the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna see a lot of the significant changes that are gonna occur. And we just gotta be conscious of the fact that we are in those final times. And, and I think that's why this is being shown to the world, because even they know that these are the final times of their rulership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, they're in many locations uh, across the earth. I mean, Russia did not just kind of lock them up so nobody could get them. They were shared out to other parts of the world. Yeah, yeah, well, there's only so much changing they can do, you know? I mean, if our, if our people ruled on the earth at one time, then surely it would be a lot of art and a lot of evidence of that. And as you can see, it is.
Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they're still on that rapture doctrine. Many of them are still on that. And many of them are still on this reset do-over thing. And there is no reset. There is no do-over. None of that stuff is going to happen. But many of them are still on that mess. Oh, we're getting ready to go into the reset. No, no, we're not. <laughs> I mean, and if we are, that means your time is up. That time is done. There is no more rulership for them after this. Yeah, I mean, many of them quite delusional. I even saw one um, video. This was a while back. And this man was on there and say, oh, we're not worried about um, anything because we got at least another thousand years to rule. I was like, where? What A thousand years to rule? Y'all were never given no thousand years to rule. <laughs> I don't know where he came up with that. But I was like, I guess, you know, you maybe you got to lie to get through it. I don't know. I don't know. No concern of mine. Another thousand years to rule. Man, I don't think we can take another thousand years of these folks for real. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let a few of you come up and speak if you like. Uh, here's the link. If you want to chime in on these paintings now being revealed to the entire world and you want to just comment on it, you're more than welcome to come up. Shalom. Uh -oh. Shalom. Uh-oh. I think I might be echoing. How are you doing? All right. You're what? Uh, Head and shoulders ATR. Head it's and shoulders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. What would you like to say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anybody that hasn't uh, read the Bible will really just be surprised by this. Or as you said earlier in the stream, uh, somebody that hasn't been on their journey but I was speaking to somebody just recently out of uh, Nigeria mm -hmm. and it was somebody in the past that I was interested in dating. And when I told her about, you know, Jesus being black or uh, anything like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's not really his name either. But for her uh, intense, she said, well, it's probably like the guy from passion of the Christ. And I pointed her exactly to the Bible verse of where it uh, described his color. And uh -huh. then she said, well, I don't know, but he looks really attractive. And right there, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like somebody wants him to be white. That's what, yeah. that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. And that's unfortunate because that's a lot of people. But um, I'm hoping that, you know, if because you know how that was, it was a uh, Khalid Muhammad even said it. And we know this. That when a, a white person says something, even if it was a black person screaming the truth, giving you all the evidence, breaking it down logically, now a lot of people will accept it. But I hope it's not like the uh, same old, same old. The white person has it. Now they get the credibility and you're still serving them versus, hmm, you know, now that this person said and I accepted it, maybe I should start questioning other stuff. That's what I'm hoping will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. And it will, it will pique the curiosity of some people, but all no, probably not even the majority. Yeah. That's unfortunate. In the last comment I have the uh, screenshots you have here, I, I believe I saw uh, a video that was similar to this and the comment you made earlier about the uh, person saying that it darkened. I remember seeing it. I saw this uh, a few years ago or something like that where the lady was saying, 
Well, you know, uh, we had to use this technique to lighten the uh, the pictures because over time they get darker. And so the only logical thing, this is what's so crazy about these people. They have no logic. If the skin got dark, wouldn't the rest of the image get dark too? How How is it only that it's the skin getting dark? Mm, that's what I said about the pictures in Egypt. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, the whole thing should get dark. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they yeah. just don't use any logic. Some people just don't live in reality. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for having me up. That was just the only comment I wanted to say. Okay. Well, thank Have you for coming one. on the panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Roseanne Campbell, how are you? <laughs> Good. I don't know what time it is there at the moment. I'm in the UK listening. Oh, okay. Shalom. <laughs> Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> Happy New Year, Sister Lisa and family. Let me first say that, isn't it a beautiful New Year so far? Yes, it is. It is a beautiful, wow. I cannot believe the amount of things we are seeing mm -hmm. just in the last, when was the New Year now? The 20th of March and it's only six days later. It is wonderful. And I just want to say thank you for all the, the the teachings you've been giving us over the years for all of us. And, and there's lots of us in the UK as well that, that listen to you. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm here now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am this this image that you have uh, on your um, on here. Um, the energy that these three people standing holding these these magnifying glasses looking they just look so angry mm -hmm. the, one who's closer, the one who's closer to the camera i can just see anger and disbelief in and like jealousy in her face even if it's to the side i can see that in her face because it's like wow i can't believe the, the people we have hated so long are in these images mm -hmm. and like I said in the chat, um, you know, when I don't know if anybody remembers when they did the Cheddar Man, when they found oh, these. Oh yeah, things. I yes, remember the, that. Yes, in the caves of England, and these are these were top scientists in Britain extracted some DNA, and they ran it through the and it came out that he had the dark skin. I think they were a bit iffy about the hair, and and the, they obviously got the eye color. And they kicked, they, they they sent death threats to those scientists. So oh can you imagine if, can you imagine? And and it got to the stage where the, the scientists had to roll back and say, well, maybe we got, maybe something was tainted in the DNA sample and we got it wrong. I was like, so it was amazing. And yet look how Russia has released these images of Jesus and I'm sure if they found their own cheddar type situation where they have a dark skinned man from some DNA, they wouldn't be they wouldn't be acting so aggressively and white supremacist as the way Britain did. Mm -hmm. They've just accepted it. But this is fine. Yeah, this is great because they, you know, and like I said in the chat, the, the original Russians and as we know, the rest of Europe would have been these same people, these same dark melanated people. That's yeah. why they you know what i mean but because of genocide because of people had to leave and because it only takes two generations of mixing to to have a white population from a black population it only takes two mm -hmm. so you get the mixed race type that looks like alicia keys she has children with with a white man they will start to look white with blonde hair and blue eyes and then so on and so on until they just look completely white and you never have any anything of the original people so that's how that's how easy it was for whoever was the original dark-skinned black russians to look like they are now and 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 even the contrast with what happened when the ukraine war kicked off the ukrainians were treating black people in the area like dirt and the russians were, were treated them carefully and sent them onto their homes the ukrainians came to the uk and when they were put in cities that were diverse with black people, they were like, oh, we don't want this. We, we don't care about it. We, we want to leave. There's too many black people here. Uh, I would have sent them back home. 
<laughs> well, a lot of them, listen, Sister Lisa, a lot of them went back to the Ukraine because they couldn't cope with being around black people in England. Good, bye. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. I just want to, I would love to shake Mr. Putin's hand right now and say thank you for revealing this. I already saw this. I think mm -hmm. I mentioned it on one of your, your comment sections. I already saw this when I first heard about this years ago with the Italians and all those other people that you mentioned earlier. Yes. I didn't know the Russians had this until Big Judah did a, several videos, I don't even remember, a couple of years ago talking about the book Russian Icons. And he went through it with a fine tooth comb and some other books that were sent to him. And that just warmed my heart. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that it's being revealed now. Um, obviously, the Ronald Dalton, um, I've got his books and videos, Hebrews to Negroes. I bought them as soon as they came on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Because I, like, I, I don't want to... In England, I'm, <laughs> they were like £30 each, but I thought, I don't care. I want them. Because <laughs> I yeah. want them in my library. I do not want these people to gaslight me and tell me there's no such thing. So I bought all of them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have all of them. Yeah, we need to, we, we need to, and, and they were hard to get in Britain. They were hard, this is what I'm saying. They might have been easier in America, but they were hard. I had to go to three different booksellers via Amazon to get them, and they took days yeah. to come. I was so worried. I thought they were lost. Mm -hmm. Well, so now I keep them. I keep them like diamonds in a box under my bed. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Because you have to, you don't know when anyone's going to come and do something stupid. Yeah. But I'm just so glad that this is coming out. I'm glad when Kyrie Irving spoke about it. I'm glad when the other guy, everybody, everybody else talked about it. My father, my late father, used to talk about these things, and I did not know what he meant until years later. And I just regret that I didn't pick his brains more before he passed away. Mm -hmm. But he was telling me that the lost tribes, some of them are in Europe. Yes, they are. Right, exactly. But he didn't go into their skin color and all that because of, most of them have been, some of them are still the same skin color as they were the black people of Europe who have been bounced around to different places, but some of them are whited out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he didn't go into the detail of it in, because I didn't understand what he meant. I thought, what do you mean they're in Europe? But now I understand. Now I understand. Now I get it. Mm hmm. And if it wasn't for listening to yourself, Big Judah, Big Levi, you know, what's his name? I can't pronounce his name. Kura mm hmm The other one. If it wasn't for listening to them, going back to listening, thinking about what my late father said and, and reading more books and going into more detail and just praying and asking the most high, show me what I need to see. You know, this, we wouldn't be here now. And, I, and you know something, I feel as if he revealed it now because he's standing on the, 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 he's standing shoulder to shoulder with Kyrie and Ronald Dalton. Because they revealed it, he feels now brave to reveal what they have. I don't think it's, oh, he's a white man um, and he's revealing it and then everyone's going to just run with it. I think he's doing it because he feels now is the right time, as you said before, and the other caller. And also, um, he just feels now is the right time. I believe, he, I, I've said he's a modern King Cyrus. Those who know who the King, King Cyrus was from the Bible, who restored the ancient Israelites, he is the modern King Cyrus, is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. he he's, he's encouraged by, obviously, the Most High, telling him to reveal it now, plus what the other guys have done. And I believe if they can get into partnership and, and have discussions, that would be even better. And I just thank you for giving me a platform to just to say this to everybody, to just be encouraged that, you know, the scales are falling from eyes and um, the the horror that we've been through the past 600 or, or thereabout years, it is now being turned around. It is now, and that's all I'm going to say, because I don't want your channel to get taken down if I say anything more radical, you know? Mm hmm. But thank you. Thank you for coming on the panel. I appreciate um, having you. Thank you for allowing me to speak. And, you know, just the most high prosper and bless everyone for this new year. Make sure you ask for those prosperity, those those, you know, 
um, all of those good things that the Most High is about to reveal. Look at the short amount of time since the new year started. We have had so much information. We have had so much revelation already. It may yeah. not be in, in, in verbatim, but those, if you can connect the dots, if you can get all the hype and propaganda and hubris out of it, you will see what the Most High and, as, and we will be even more. Knowledge is power. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Yes, it is. Shalom, sister. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, Shawa. Shalom, great sis. Lisa? Shalom. And blessings to the chat. I just wanted to say that... Uh, I kept seeing this pop up in my feed and I was avoiding it. I was thinking it was him showing his little figurine he had of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And something put it, I clicked on that, uh, so many videos that I clicked on one and I cried yesterday. I cried mm -hmm. because this, the scale of it is, is much different. Um, and I and I see I'm in another chat of yours, and it, and the, uh, someone was saying that it, it was a fake announcement. Mm -hmm. but, but people, we have to recognize that um, even if it's not on mainstream, it is still so much greater. It is it, it has went out so much further because of who he is. Yes, and we also have to recognize that even if it there's an agenda of the man himself. The Most High uses who He wants to use as tools. Exactly. All praises to Him. So I, I just wanted to say, yeah. Um, also, what I want to touch on what Sister Roseanne was saying. These people are angry. They are highly upset. Some of them already knew. Some of them had no idea. Mm -hmm. And they're running around talking about, well, uh, that same trope. Oh, it doesn't matter. If it didn't matter, then why did you all hide it for so long? Right. And, you know, it's just, it is, it is a great time to be alive. I pray for all of you all every day. And I love my brothers and sisters. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just a wonderful time to be alive. And I'm, and I'm so blessed and thankful that the Most High gave us a great sister that shares all this information with us. Yes. Okay. Yes, That's and I'm, I wanted glad, to say. I'm glad to have you on the panel, and you're more than welcome to come again. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Shalom, sister. You as well. Blessings. Kia, Kia. Hey, shalom, sister Lisa. Um, how are you? All right. Praise the most high. Oh, yeah. Um, I was just uh, getting on the panel and I know for a long time, and I used to work at this big store, you know, it's got blue and yellow. And when I found out the truth somewhere around 2016, mm -hmm. and I would just question people at Walmart and ask them, you know, the black people, the Israelites, and it was very few whites who didn't know they were surprised, but the rest of them like, oh my gosh, you know. And I'm like, okay. Uh, but jumping from that, um, I'm going to college this year and taking art history. And I was just looking like <clears throat> when they go to art, art history, they don't teach about our history. Mm -hmm. And for with me taking history classes and I'm getting my degree in that, I'm just like, where's all the black art? You know, they talk about, they jump from, this is how the, the art history goes. It goes about you know, the little, I guess, prehistoric, then it jumps to, all of a sudden it jumps from that to pre-Renaissance. You mm -hmm. ain't got, I ain't seen no history of what happened in the 1400s. <laughs> uh -huh. and it, jumps from, it jumps from that to the Renaissance. And then they talk, go and talk about the Greek. It's just like, it skip everything. They show a, a little Egyptians art, and then it skips all this whole part. And then their history starts exactly with the Greek and the Romans and up to, up to the present. But mm -hmm. but when they teach that, they don't teach no history or no art history. 
And I'm saying, if I didn't go on YouTube, thank the Lord for YouTube, I wouldn't know about the history in China, in Africa. And I'm like, this boy, this, you could tell it's bias. They hide a lot of stuff, even when you teach it. If you don't go out and look for it yourself, you don't, you won't see that. And they well, don't teach it. That's how you know race does matter because yeah. they know exactly what to skip over. Yeah, they you do. Know? It's what they don't show you. And if they pick and like you said, they're real nitpicky about what they want you to see and what you, you know, and what they want you to know. And so many things get excluded. Now, look at what's going on today. They're trying to make black history illegal. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, down in Florida. Oh, you know, down yeah. in Florida, if you teach history, they fire the teacher and get rid of them and they don't want it taught at all. Ooh. Well, there ain't going to be much in the history books. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, it, it's crazy how they're trying to change the history or, or just blot it out in these last days as if, you know, we're so now supposed to walk around and have amnesia about the history. Yes. I'm not doing that for <laughs> that. <laughs> no, but uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, family, for having me on. You have a good day. Oh, Shalom. Too. Um, sis. You too. How do I get out of here? I got you. <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Last time I had issues <laughs> when I was trying to get on here live. Let me step outside my office real quick. Uh, shalom to you, sister, and uh, to everyone out there. This is a great time to be alive. Mm -hmm. It was a great time to witness scripture being poured out. Um, and I'm just glad to be a part of this uh, awakening and be able to see the scriptures um, like our ancestors have been dreaming about. Mm -hmm. You know, Jeremiah uh, 16, uh, when, when Yah is telling us that the nations, the heathens of the world are going to be declaring that they have been told lies, they've inherited lies. And, now we're starting to see it. We're starting to see the truth be out there. Um, I'm with uh, Maury Yoshiahu and the Awaken the Remnant Coalition. And he put out a video, like many other people, but he put out a video last year mm -hmm. when uh, Putin first had that, that little yellow box and he opened yeah, it up. That and he opened it up <laughs> on the table. Yeah, I saw that. And we were just like, um, I remember him saying, and we were talking, you and others as well, we're like, he's going to be probably one of the ones who's going to put it out there. And if they keep pushing them, <laughs> which they're doing, uh, he's going to say it, and he's going to keep doing it. And so we're seeing Yah use, like he said in scripture, he uses any nation he wants to. Nations mm -hmm. rise and fall under his power. The kings of the world, they, they do what he tells them to do. So I, I know some people were trying to push back earlier saying, well, this is a heathen. Well, yeah, we know who he is. Mm -hmm. But the most important part, we know who Yah is, and Yah will use anybody <laughs> to do his will. Yeah. So this is just a great time. Um, we here at the Ark, we we uh, we've been watching you, uh, Sister Lisa. We appreciate you for putting this word out, uh, for always doing things that uh, help encourage our people. Um, and this is a time for us to be joyous as we mm -hmm. prepare for Pesach, Passover. Um, we pr prepare for the return of our King. Um, we can also have some fun and laugh when things like this happen. Uh, mm -hmm. The whole world seeing it. They don't want to talk about it, but we are talking about it. Oh we yeah. All praise for Most High Yah. All praises. Thank you All for right. coming to the panel. Thank and you. Enjoy the rest of your day, brother. Shalom. You as well. Shalom, shalom. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll definitely do this again. And y'all, it this is a great time to be alive. I mean, in just a few days, we have seen so many things, major things happen. And you can't even imagine what's going to occur after the solar eclipse and that X go across America. You just can't imagine the things that are going to occur in this country and beyond. So please enjoy your day. Be sure to be on the lookout for my videos that are coming out later on. Shalom, family.
Oh, you know what? I, I do want to thank everybody. Hold on. Um, Magic City Enterprises. Um, thank you for the super chat. That girl shine. Um, thank you. April's Jules. Thank you. Assist uh, Cynthion Watson. Kevin, a.k.a. Mr. K. Thank you for the super chat. The book When We Ruled by Robin Walker is a must read, Lisa C. Thank you. Thank you for the super sticker M4002019. And thank you for the super sticker Lisa Peters. Shalom, family. <laughs>